Hi there. I hope that you found the exam challenging, but at the same time, you knew what you were doing. I do want to go through these with you and try to explain some of them. These are difficult problems, so if they felt tough, they're supposed to. This is the final exam in this mean, median, and mode module, or measures of central tendency module. So I'll stop talking about that and start talking about what you did there. The first section was just a review of terms, and I did not copy the book because that's not something I can do. So I need you to be following along with me in your book. This is on page 260. The first question says the most frequently appearing data value in a data set is called the mode. Mode is the one that you see most often. Number two, when a data set has an odd number of values, the blank is the middle value when the data set is ordered from least to greatest. Middle is median, so you should have chosen that answer for that question. The difference I really could stop right there, but I'll keep going. The difference between the greatest and least values in a data set is the range of the data set. Number four, if you add all the data values in a set and then divide by the total number of values in the set, you have calculated the mean of the data set. And this is also called the average. Now, if you put average and then mean, that is okay because those are synonyms and they can be used interchangeably. And then number five, a value based on a data set in which some values carry more weight than others is a weighted average. And we've talked about all of these terms in the, the videos previous to this one. That's not good grammar. The videos prior to this one. Um, we went over some examples, so these should not be new to you. If you are trying to just do the exams and not do the course material, that's your business. That's okay. But I strongly encourage you not to do that because you need the material to understand the problems. But you're grown-ups, so you can do how whatever you would like. All right, here are the, the review questions, the actual test questions. And I'm going to separate these sections more for myself than for you because my eyes tend to run together a little bit. So this is the skill review section. It says number one, the rainfall in four successive months was 10.2 inches, 7.7 .7 inches, 5.1 inches, and 12.0 inches. What was the mean monthly rainfall for the four-month period? And in the course material, we did lots of these where I told you to draw the really long line, put your equal sign, and we're dealing with four months in this problem, so that will be the bottom number. You don't have to write months, but in fact, I probably won't after this one. When you're learning how to do this, it's important to, to write that, for me to write that. But um, hopefully you have already looked at the course material. So the first thing we're going to do is add up those top numbers, and I'm digging for my calculator here. So very carefully, you want to type in the decimal, 10.2, 7.7, 5.1, .7, 5 and 12.0, and that's 35, and we're going to divide that by four months to get a mean of 8.75 inches per month. That is the mean. And this was not multiple choice, so you just write that answer down. If you got that one right, check it off, and bravo to you. That's great. Okay, number two. I almost skipped this one because it's, it's a theory question, but I think it's important. It's good review. 
You have a data set of eight values arranged from least to greatest. Because there is an even number of values, there is no single value in the middle. Explain how to find the median of this data set. And we did talk about that. You would need to find the mean of the middle two. And those would be If you have eight values, those would be um, numbers four and five. So you would have to get the mean of those two scores to get the median middle of your data set. Number three, and I'm just changing colors so that we can keep these separate. There's no pattern to that. What is the mode of the following set of numbers? Well, I want to put these in order for you so that you can clearly see what I'm talking about. Four is the smallest, and then we have two eights. We have a nine. We have two twelves and a 15. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're looking for mode. There are two of them. There's that one, and there's that one. So for this one, for this question, I would go with answer C. Okay, number four. What is the range of this set of data, or the following set of numbers? I'm going to put these in order for you because they do involve negative numbers. And I want to show you a, a different way to think about that. Instead of putting them on a horizontal number line, sometimes it's easier with negative numbers to think of a thermometer. So I want to know the temperature that's lowest on this thermometer. And that's the nine, uh, negative 9.1. And then coming up, I'm not measuring, I'm just guesstimating the spacing, 7.1. And then, oops, sorry, we have a negative 2.3. Um, then we would have 0, if you could see it, and here's 0 0.1. And then coming on up the thermometer, we have 4.0. And then um, 8.5 is the top. So there should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Always make sure that you have all of them. So your maximum on this data is right here. And your minimum is down here. Min means lowest. So you're looking for the difference, the range in there. And so to find that, it's just like any other range problem. You're going to say 8.5 minus negative 9.1. So be careful typing that into your calculator. That's where I think most people make mistakes if they're going to. Just make sure you get a negative on there. And so your range is 17 and 6 tenths. 17.6 is the range for that data set. Okay, uh, number five. Let's see, this one I'm going to need some space. So I'm going to squeeze it in right up here. I'll try to zoom a little bit so it's not as much to look at. So number five says a website had 12,000 hits on the first day and 16,000 the second day. How many hits must it have on the third day to average 20,000 hits a day for three days? Well, the key here is average. So we're doing a mean. Set up your mean form. And we want to, sorry, I need a little more room. We want to average 20,000. So that is the mean, that's the average. 
and we're doing this for three days. So three will be our bottom number. Let me go ahead and give you that little hint. And then we need to add up our days. So we have 12,000 plus 16,000 plus this third day. And I'm going to use the letter T to represent the third day. And this is where you have to use some algebra. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is add the 12,000 and the 16,000 to get 28,000 plus that third day. And to take care of this three on the bottom here, let me change colors so you can tell. We're gonna multiply both sides by three. And what that's going to do is cancel those threes, which is what I want. And then I'm left with um, 20,000 times three, that's 60,000. So that allows you to get rid of that fraction over there that makes this problem so ugly. And then we're going to subtract. This needs to move to the number side of the problem. If you haven't had the algebra, I recommend strongly that you take it. Um, so T, the third test, is 60,000 minus 28,000, which is a lot. It's going to be 32,000 hits on that third day. And that corresponds to option D. Okay, problem six. Your grade in a course is the average, so there's that word again, of two quizzes and a final exam. So they're telling me that your grade is the average, so think of that form that we've used, of two quizzes. So here's quiz one and quiz two, and a final that counts twice. So we're going to count the final two times, double. So the instructor will add the grades for the two quizzes, twice the grade for the final, and divide by what? So this is what they're asking me. What number goes right there? Well, count them off. You have one, two, three, four. So the instructor will divide by four, and that is C. So that one is not as bad if you draw it out and really know what it is they're asking you. A lot of these questions are not about math. Um, the math in this one is very simple. I can count on my fingers. It's the reasoning and the setting it up that can be very difficult. Okay, we're halfway through. I'm going to stop this video, and I'll see you in the next one. We'll do page 261.